In the last video, we studied how to create custom widgets and their use. In this video, we will study buttons and their actions, as well as stateful widgets. Create an elevated button widget. Add a text widget as its child and set the button text to press me. The onPressed event requires a function to be created and called here. When we press the button, the function we created is executed. Assign a function name to the onPressed event and create that function. The function type is void since we are not returning anything. In the function body, we display a value in the console using the print function. When we press the button, the function is called. Run the app to see it in action. Press the button, and the message is displayed in the console. There are more events available for the elevated button. Now, let's use another event, on long press. Create another function for that event. In this function, also display a different message in the console. Then, run the app. When we long press the button, the message is displayed. Next, we will learn how to change the button text when we click the button. For this, we create a string variable and assign the label value to that variable. The variable name is button text and we assign the value to it. We then use this variable in the button. Now, let's create another custom widget. We will study another method for creating a custom widget. Select the widget, select the widget you want to convert into a custom widget. Click the bulb that appears. Choose the option, Extract Widget. Give a name for the custom widget.
A new widget is created and used in place of the original widget. Note that it is a stateless widget, which may not work in all cases. We need a stateful widget. Let me check what's happening now. We create another function here to change the text. Create the function here and try changing the variable name. Then we try to make it work. It's not changed. Press me, text is displaying here. So, we need the stateful widget in there. When we need dynamic changes while the app is running, we use this stateful widget. Use a stateful widget when your widget needs to rebuild in response to changes. When we create a new stateful widget, just type st, then the stateful widget suggestion is available here. Here, we have a stateless widget, so we convert this to a stateful widget. Select the widget and press this bulb, there is an option to convert it to a stateful widget. It's now converted to a stateful widget. Then we create a setState function inside this function and call our action inside that. Then run the app. Then press the button, the text is changed. Now we have studied button events and stateful widgets. Thank you for watching.